Well, good day, everybody. This is Vicar Kyle. It's our daily devotion time. And today we're, we're going to go over a wonderful psalm of praise. It's also a short one, so we can do the whole psalm right now. Um, I want to read the psalm, talk about it a little bit, and hopefully uh, provide some encouragement for you for your day ahead. So our psalm today is Psalm 100. <clears throat> and we'll start, we'll just read through it, talk about it, and, and pray about it. Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us, and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name, for the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. And, and as we read here, this is a psalm, and, and the superscription tells us all for giving grateful praise. And when I look at this psalm, when I think about everything we've been going through, Maybe you're wondering too, oh, come on, how, how can we at this time? And I have no idea where you are, but considering that it, it's a Monday, you know, this could probably not be a day for you where, where you're feeling particularly full of, of, of feelings of, of gladness. You know, the kind of morning where you wake up, you take your coffee cup and, uh, you know, the coffee pot misses the cup entirely and, and you have to clean that mess. And worse off, you don't have any coffee, and, and it makes you grumpy. Uh, or it could be a day where, where you're, you've are you been at home for, for so many weeks now, you, you don't know what to do. You're really not knowing what to feel about anything. Um, this psalm, though, is a wonderful reminder for us of what we constantly should be doing. Shouting for joy. Worshiping God with gladness, coming before him, singing songs of joyful praise, knowing that he is our God. And I love that the image of a sheep out to pasture kind of comes up in this psalm because that's what we talked about uh, on Sunday, right? We talked about, uh, well, we read about Jesus as the good shepherd, and it really didn't come up in our sermon, but in a way, uh, it did. When we read about the disciples in Acts, how, how they praised God every day. That's them living out the, this psalm, in, uh, if you want to look at it that way. So why should we be joyful? You know, especially on a Monday where maybe everything hasn't gone so great. It really comes down to this last verse. For the Lord is good and his love endures forever his faithfulness continues through all generations. Where do we see that love? As Christians, we don't have to look any further than Jesus Christ, what he has already done for us, how he died and rose for us, how he forgives us every day. You know, if you wake up in the morning, think about that for a minute. Just all of the sins known to you and unknown that have been forgiven. That might be a source of joy for you, something that, that brings you uh, encouragement. Knowing, too, that, that even as our, our shepherd, our good shepherd, Jesus is leading us. And sometimes it's not always a, a pleasant place that we're being led. The whole point of Psalm 23 isn't saying that life is always going to be green pastures uh, with, with, with uh, still waters. Sometimes... Our good shepherd is leading us into danger. Uh, you know, we're, we're walking in, in shadows. We're walking in the, the valley of death. But the comfort that we have is what? That he's still guiding us. And the psalm that we read today is encouraging us that no matter what we're going through, he's still the God who made us. He's still the God who we can call Father because of what Jesus has done for us. And the love that endures forever, no matter where we're led, well, we know that that love will be there for us. We know that we will be embraced in the end by Jesus Christ himself. We know that he will wipe every tear from every eye. We also know uh, that this love that, that endures forever, nothing can take that away from us. 
no no amount of bad days no number of months that we have to spend in, in isolation can remove that from us so we're going to do something different for our prayer today we're going to sing uh, we're going to sing the doxology uh, this doxology is one that that we probably all know well it's to the tune of the hundredth it's the doxology we probably all grew up singing so we'll, we'll just sing it today uh, knowing that that our songs of praise in a way are also prayers to god all songs of praise are prayers to god and, and so just think about uh maybe in your life where where you haven't been able to praise god because of some circumstance and how he still enables you to to sing these words joyfully because of what he's done for you praise god from whom all blessings flow praise him all creatures here below praise him above ye heavenly host praise father son and holy ghost amen all right i hope you all have a wonderful day i'll see you all tomorrow uh, blessings